When we talk about fruit flavors in wine, we typically talk about the categories of red fruit versus black fruit. So wines with lots of black fruit are things like Cabernet Sauvignon, where you taste lots of black currant, black plum, black cherry, blackberry, you get the picture. Now red fruit flavors tend to range from really pale strawberries and raspberries to bigger, richer flavors of red cherry and uh, pomegranate, cranberry. And today's master flight is all about those really juicy red flavors. So to start out with, we have Pinot Noir, which is one of the most red fruit flavored wines there is. And Pinot Noir actually also has thinner skins. And these thin skins allow the grape to ripen earlier, give you those brighter, richer, freer kinds of tones to it. Uh, also this really kind of crunchy tart fruit. Mm, I love Pinot Noir. To me, it's one of the sexiest grapes. Really beautiful, really elegant. Um, that lightness makes it really lifted. It's really tangy. It's got a tartness to it, but also some really pretty juicy red fruit tones. Raspberry and pomegranate, cranberry. And it's such a delicious wine. Really classic coastal California Pinot Noir. Now, our next wine here is our Barbera, and our Barbera for Cooper's Hawk is really special. We source our grapes from vineyards all over the world, predominantly in California, uh, but this is the only wine that we have that comes from one single vineyard. We work with the Paddy Creek Vineyard in the Lodi region of California, and we love this area because it just is so warm. It brings a really generous fruit flavor to the wines, and our Barbera is one of our most popular wines, and this wine... Mm, it's just so good. It has a really beautiful herbal tone to it, but again, that really juicy kind of exuberant red fruit, lots of red cherry, just bursting mouthful of flavors. Barbera is an Italian varietal. You don't see a whole lot of Barbera grown in the new world, so we're really lucky to have this vineyard that we work with. So our next wine is our Old Vine Zinfandel. This is actually coming from uh, an area not too far away from where our Barbera comes from, uh, in that central California region of Lodi. Super, super hot, and Zinfandel is a varietal that does really well uh, with a little bit of age on the vines. And uh, when you have those older grape vines, you end up really getting some intensity of flavors and concentration. You get smaller berries, which give you a lot more intensity. Uh, it's really delicious. Not a whole lot of, of grapes out there do well with really really old vines, the way that Zinfandel does. And Zinfandel is one of those that gives you a combination of both red and black fruit flavors. And I really love that kind of yin and yang of, of blackberry and, and red plum. Mm. And this has really got all of that. There's a real richness to the fruit as well. It's, it's almost like it's been baked or barbecued or stewed, super concentrated. And you get that again from that really warm inland vineyard where it uh, just gets gets sun baked all day long and gives you those really saturated flavors. And our next wine is really a special one. This is our anniversary blend. It's our 15th anniversary at Cooper's Hawk. And this is the time for us to really celebrate. So we're doing a Magnum. This is our wine of the month. And uh, so the, these will go really fast. I'm really lucky to have one to enjoy here today. And our anniversary blend is predominantly made with Barbera. And our, this is made with our very special Barbera that's coming from that Paddy Creek Vineyard. Because this is really a flagship wine for us, we felt like that needed to be the backbone of this blend. With it is a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon and a whole mix of other varietals thrown in. Um, other grapes that bring a lot of spiciness, things like Syrah and Zinfandel, um, but that Cabernet to really give it some firmness and boldness, Merlot to round it out. But again, the predominant flavors are really all about Barbera. It's just delicious. It's just bursting with super juicy, bright red fruit flavors. And even with all of the Cabernet and Merlot and other varietals in the blend, the thing that stands out is that really intense Barbera, uh, those really juicy red flavors. I, I just love it. Um, this wine is drinking fantastic right now. So come enjoy our master's flight. This is a, a great way to learn about the red fruit flavors that you can find in wine. Cheers, happy anniversary month.